May I have your attention, please? Worship will be starting in one minute. Please take this opportunity to prepare your hearts for worship and to be seated. And don't forget to put your cell phones on silent. with our church family at the same time if possible. Please fill out the online attendance form. The link will be available on the chat during this online service, as well as via church email. Join us for our weekly online Bible study and prayer group beginning Wednesday, June 10th for three weeks via Zoom. We will study and meditate on a particular parable in each session. Jesus communicated deep spiritual truths through simple, vivid, and engaging stories, making his gospel understandable and accessible to his listeners. His parables give us insights and meaning for our own lives, and we find ourselves in them. This three-session short-term study is organized around the parables of farming and gardening. What is Jesus saying to us about our world and ourselves today? What lessons can we learn during this pandemic? We encourage you to participate in a three-minute online worship and ministry survey. This anonymous survey will help us to know more about your worship experiences and your needs during this crisis. We appreciate your participation. A survey was emailed to the congregation. Please contact Pastor Stephen if you did not receive it. Thank you to everyone for their generous donations of both food and personal items in support of Roxbury Social Services, increasing demand at their food bank. Currently, their urgent needs are personal hygiene products, diapers and wipes, cleaning products, and breakfast food. They also have an urgent need for plastic grocery bags. We will be collecting them in our outdoor food donation bin. We appreciate your continued support for this critical local mission. We will be celebrating our SUMC graduates during worship service on Sunday, June 28th. If there is an 8th grade high school or college graduate in your home, please email a photo of your graduate along with a special message or video by June 19th to Pastor Stephen at sumcnj.org. Join us for virtual fellowship hour today after the service from 11.15 a.m. to 12 p.m. via Zoom. We miss seeing you. So this virtual fellowship hour is a great opportunity for us to catch up and share with one another how we're doing. Grab some coffee or tea. Feel free to stop by and leave any time. The Zoom information will be shared on the chat at the end of the service. Also, please check out church emails and our Facebook page for the Zoom code. Thank you and enjoy the service. Oh, oh, oh. 
bit more you might be finding yourself wanting to do some different arts and crafts today I want to share with you one of my favorite arts and crafts to do and that is cutting paper into snowflakes so I made a couple here's one here's another one they're so much fun to do and one of the things that I love most about them is how they're all unique and special and different in their own way even if you try to make two identical when you unfold them they're most likely going to look slightly different from each other. You can't really create two perfectly identical snowflakes. So they're all unique in their own little way. And, and so snowflakes are actually kind of like people. We're all unique, we're all different in our own special ways. When God created us, he made us all different for a reason. Some of us are tall, some of us are short, some of us have darker skin, some of us have lighter skin. Uh, some of us hate pickles, and some of us love pickles. Uh, and if you even look on your hands, you can see your own little type of snowflake. Look at your fingertip. There's a special little pattern there. And if you compare it to your 
parents or your brothers and sisters or your friends, your aunts, your uncles, you'll notice that your pattern on your fingertip is different. You will never find someone else who has the exact same pattern on their fingertip as you do. And so how do you think God was able to create so many different patterns of fingerprints? That's pretty amazing that everybody in the world all has their own unique fingerprint, just like all of my unique different paper snowflakes. Pretty amazing, right? Even though God made us all different, we do have one thing in common. We all belong to him. God created us to be different, even with our personalities, our talents, and our gifts. So it's important that we really embrace that and we are true to ourselves. It's a gift to be ourselves. We can figure out how we can help serve God in our own unique way using our different personalities or talents or gifts. That's how we can honor how God created us in his own unique image. So we might be different shaped snowflakes, but when we work together, we can create pretty awesome things like snowstorms. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so much. We pray that you can help us be ourselves and find our own unique way to serve you and share the good news of the Bible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Today's scripture reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 4 and 12 to 17. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Scripture reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 through 17. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here.
Thank you so much for your continued giving for the ministries and missions of Sakusana UMC. Giving is planting seeds in the field of God's kingdom. When you plant the seeds of love, when you give your time, talents, and treasure to God, our divine gardener, He makes them grow and bear fruits. It saves lives. It sustains our ministries and missions to love and serve as hands and feet of Jesus Christ in our community. It makes and grows new disciples for the transformation of the world. God is love, and love gives and helps others. Our God generously provides all we need. And God wants each of us to be a giver, to be a loving and giving person who deeply trusts God no matter what our circumstances. Therefore, the act of giving is our expression to love God and to love our neighbors. So let us offer God our giving with a cheerful and grateful heart. God, how amazing are the works of your creations, the gift of your presence in our lives and in our world. We praise and thank you, even as we return a portion of these gifts to you. Send forth your spirit, and through these gifts, that your loving presence may be felt and known through every ministry, every life, and every need touched by these gifts. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. The closing hymn is, And Are We Yet Alive? The hymn was written by Charles Wesley, a brother of John Wesley, the founder of Methodism. Traditionally, this hymn has been used at the opening of Methodist meetings like an annual conference. And today was the day when our Greater New Jersey Annual Conference was supposed to gather in Wildwood. 
It's been ten weeks since we have worshipped online. Whose face do you miss the most during this time? Even though we cannot see each other in person yet, we are grateful to God that we are still able to embrace each other in the fellowship and the prayers that we share in the Holy Spirit. Now let us sing together the closing hymn and "Are We Yet Alive," verses one and two.